The next type of question are conflicting viewpoints questions. A little bit of general information about conflicting viewpoints questions. You're going to be given two different hypotheses, opinions, maybe scientific ideas about the same topic. You're going to have to compare those, contrast them, maybe make some inferences in the seven questions that follow this passage. This is really just a reading section. It's different from the other two sections on the, on the science section of the ACT. There's not a whole lot of scientific reasoning involved. So read thoroughly and really convince yourself that you can do well because you have excellent reading skills. First type of question you're going to encounter are key points about the passage questions. These questions are basically reading questions that ask you about information in the passage. There are usually two questions like this on the ACT test. They're going to ask you information about one of the viewpoints. Therefore, it's important that you know what each side is arguing. The second type of question you may experience are inference questions. These questions are going to ask you to make conclusions and figure out how each side would potentially respond to a hypothetical situation. Another common type of question is to identify an assumption that one of the viewpoints may have. The third type of question you're going to see are comparison questions. These questions usually comprise the majority of the conflicting viewpoints questions. They're going to ask you to compare the two viewpoints. This includes key differences and similarities between the two arguments. One of the main questions is to identify points where maybe the two sides would agree or disagree on something. You will see one passage like this on the science section of the ACT. It is nothing more than a reading test. Be sure to take your time reading the first time and highlight major similarities and differences between the two scientists as you read through the passage the first time. 